hello, my name is uh, Arjen of the Greenhouse Seed Company. And uh, next to me, the haze mist, the plant that I won the cannabis cup with. Uh, we are here in two and a half weeks of growth and one week of flowering. And already you see beautiful flowers popping up everywhere. A very, very nice plant to grow. A very sweet haze taste and a uh, favorite uh, a long time ago. It was a long time off the market because yeah, you have to make decisions at what you want to put on your menu. But uh, it's going to be coming back. It's a really nice producer. It's a plant that uh, conserves some characteristics of the real haze but it's compromising with a good production, a fuller look, a fuller range production, and it's a plant that really develops uniformly. The internode doesn't stretch too much, even if the total size of the plant is pretty massive. It's a fast grower. It's not too long of, of a flowering uh, time for a sativa like this. It's a nine, 10 weeks, so it's comparable to, uh, yeah, a super silver haze, maybe even a little bit faster than a super silver haze. It's a very, very particular taste. It's a bit sweet, it's a bit hazy, it's very complex, very full. Technically, we keep this plant now on a 5.5 pH. Uh, we use nitric acid for lowering the pH. On the EC, we switched from a 1.5 in uh, growth to a 1.6 now, beginning of flowering, to give the plant all the nutrients she needs. We are in day 14, week 2 of the flowering period. Yeah, also this one has a very fast flowering metabolism, already little white hairs coming everywhere. It's a beautiful short internet sativa. It's not a really pure sativa, but it has a, a really good uh, mix. As you can see from this leaf, it's very long, very pointy, but at the same time quite overlapping already. And uh, also this plant stays at a 5.5 pH and a 1.7 EC for the moment. Next to me, the famous haze mist, uh, one of my personal favorites. We are also with this plant in week three, 21 days of flowering, and also this plant went a little bit too high, but uh, yeah, it's at the moment eight feet, two meter 40, and um, we're gonna follow this plant for the next uh, seven to eight weeks. It has a sweet haze uh, taste, and uh, it's a little bit similar to the Hawaiian snow, but totally different. It's a beautiful plant. It's actually one of the few sativas that stretches so much in height but still gives a dense, bushy plant as a result. It's really good how the internode develops. The branches go out at 45 degrees, so they don't lay too low like most sativas of, of this type of structure do. And it allows the plant to really shoot up for buds, bud production with all these branches. It's a beautiful plant that we keep now at 5.5 pH and uh, 1.80 C. It's a plant that can take a lot of feeding. It's important to uh, notice that at this point we start flushing the medium because salt of accumulation uh, can be a real threat for us. One of my all-time haze favorites, we're finally going to bring out seeds on the market of this plant. And uh, we are also here in week four, and look, beautiful nuggets. And they smell really, really nice and sweet. Very big plant, but you can grow it small. You can grow it six, seven feet if you wish. And uh, we just show you what the potentials are of this plant. Eh? Nice plant, eh, Frank? It's an amazing plant. The internodal distance stays really, really compact all the way up. And uh, the stretch is really due to the huge size of the container we're using and the fact that we gave a long uh, growing time. But it's actually not such a stretchy plant if you, uh, if you keep it on a normal schedule. And as you can see, it's really full of little branches, little seed branches. It's 5.5 pH, we keep this plant, and 1.7 EC in the fourth week of flowering. Next to us, our famous haze mist. We are here also in week five, day 35, fantastic smoke. You can see everywhere coming the nuggets, strong branches going upwards to all the lights, as you see. Everywhere they're fighting for each other here. If I pull them together, I've got already one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's fantastic. No deficiencies all the way up. It's a bit of a stretcher there on top, but you can see the internal distance stays quite nice and compact. It's gonna form one single major color there. We keep a five and a half pH. We keep a 1.7 to 1.8 EC. I don't know if you can still see me through the bush, but uh, we're talking bushy plants today. I'm standing here with the NL Haze Mist. Beautiful sativa smell, incredible development. As you can see, the internal distance on this plant is a steady one and a half to two inches. The flower development is literally everywhere. All these little sea branches shooting, they have as big of a bud as the end of the branch itself and this tells you something about the development of this plant which allows a lot of light and air through and produces amazing amazing flowering material now here we go with the thc in the sixth week of flowering day 42 already a few brown hair and nice resin coming out few more weeks for this plant 1.7 ec and a five and a half ph for the moment i'm here on uh, week seven day 49 with this beautiful mist haze. It's a winner of the Cannabis Cup back in 1994. It's a really historic uh, sativa plant. 
one of these unique formations where you have this really beautiful sea branch development inside the plant and the buds are actually round and hard. Very, very beautiful sativa formation. Very uh, white already. The THC started developing about two weeks ago and now it's uh, getting there. The smell is very woody, very, very nice and deep. It's uh, one of the easy plants, one of the easy sativa. It just grows fast with a good metabolism, very, very strong plant, very resistant. We keep her at the moment on a 5.5 pH and a 1.6, 1.7 EC level. We were at 1.8 about two weeks ago. Now we're going a little bit down to avoid uh, uh, overfeeding in the last uh, weeks where the THC forms. This is really a true sativa delight. As you see, the nuggets are really tight, really compact, beautiful development, but very sativa. The branching of this plant resembles uh, the nettle sage, resembles other sativas in our collection, but the smell and the taste and the high are unique, one of a kind, very, very woody. As you can see, the plant is still full green, still uh, boosting the flowering. She can use another uh, two, three weeks of flowering time before she's completely ripe. And uh, we keep her at the moment at a 5.5 pH level and a 1.7 EC. Next to us the famous haze mist. Also here we are in uh, week 9 of the flowering period. And this one basically you already could harvest. This is uh, one of the earliest uh, sativas we have in our uh, gene bank of the Greenhouse Seed Company. But we're going to leave it for one more week, maybe two more weeks, to show you a little bit more what you also can do with the plant. Good yielder. It went very, very high. It's up to uh, 3 meters now, uh, 9 feet nine to ten feet but uh, you can keep it much smaller you can keep it until here we have showed you now how you can grow really really big planks it's a beautiful sativa as you can see uh, the steadiness of the internode all the way up to the top which is going to make one huge massive uh, four feet long collar and uh, as you can see the THC production is full full at its peak but it's gonna just improve and improve in the next one two weeks the 5.6 pH keeps this plant happy now and a 1.6 1.7 EC level and we are in week 10 with our famous haze mist. And this is a remarkable, beautiful plant. Look how big the nuggets now got. All the same size on the branches. Look how beautiful. Here. All really, really round nuggets. The plant is about uh, 3 meters, about 9, 10 feet. And you can see the, the beautiful build-up of this plant. This will be a great, great outdoor plant too. And the smoke is fantastic. But we didn't come back with this plant on the market for a long, long time. We kept the seeds and uh, we never actually sold seeds of this plant also. And uh, we're now gonna produce female seeds of this plant. So you can buy them pretty soon. And look how hard they are already. Totally, for a sativa, really hard nuggets. You can see the leaf, how slim. See, very slim leaves, but hard nuggets. Hello, we are week 11 with the famous haze mist of the Greenhouse Seed Company. And you can see how beautiful it came out now. All the nuggets are ready. It's ready to harvest. Only 11 weeks for this sativa. Beautiful, beautiful big colas all over, as you can see. We have to stake up the plant. The colas and branches are dropping everywhere. It's really, really massive. And look how beautiful it came out. Very nice plant for indoor and outdoor. You can see the light goes really, really good through it. All the nuggets get nice light, intense from the top, because you can see plant is really made for that. Okay, we are in week 12 with our famous haze mist and it's finished for manicuring. It was already finished last week but we left it a little bit longer for a little bit extra crystal production and you can see how nice it's dropping all over the branches. Look, big nice colors all over the branches, nice crystals coming up here. So we're going to manicure it now. And then it's going to go to our famous smoking panel, see what they think about it. And I will guarantee you this is going to be a really, really beautiful smoke. So we're now finished manicuring with this beautiful haze mist. Never have been seen on the market. So 2006 we're going to do this and uh, you're going to hear more about this plant. Haze mist of the greenhouse, don't forget it. 
So here we see the result of the haze mist. After uh, 12 weeks of flowering, we have like a beautiful 700-800 grams of this plant. Uh, remarkable yield if you think about the sativas. People always say, yeah, sativas doesn't give me so much. This is the main cola I have here in my hand, manicured and well. And you can see all this pot here. It wouldn't surprise me if it's nearly a kilo, but uh, let's say 700-800 grams. Uh, you can do fine. Outdoor, you can easily go over a kilo, a kilo and a half especially when you're in good uh, areas in the world. We're gonna follow this plant through the smoking panel and see you later.